Pratima Das Hattiparwa, a proud past pupil of Holy Child School, located in a beautiful green hill in Chanmari, right at the heart of Guwahati city, situated in India's lush green northeastern state, Assam. So today, on the occasion of our school's Golden Jubilee, organized with the collective efforts of our alumni, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of our association to talk on what exactly is Holy Child School Past Pupil Association or HCSPPA in short is all about. Yes, we are an organization of past pupils spread out globally across the world and uh, we continue to connect with each other through bonds of love, remembrance and deep caring for each other long after we had left school. Through reunions, events and meetups, we strive to keep this bond alive and continue to look out for each other both during the good times and the bad times. Besides all this, our most important motto is to be useful as a community and bring greater good and benefits to the society around us in every small or big way as possible. The most important thing we were taught at school besides our education was to be a good and a helpful human being. In fact, that was what our small science subject was all about. Though we used to complain at times, it all worked out in the end because it taught us to uphold the values taught to us by our Salishian sisters to bring a purpose to our life and be of service to the society. In fact, long after we left school, we realized that these guidelines remained a spiritual compass to lead our lives and to make a practical application of all the right value system taught to us by our Salishian educators in our individual, family and social lives. Through the years, our Holy Child alumni has been greatly supportive and we have been able to contribute our time, funds and help through various charity drives and community service. It therefore gives me great pleasure to talk about some of the community activities undertaken by Holy Child School Past People Association all because of its strong and supportive alumni. So let us begin. So number one, um, during one of our charity drives, we distributed infants and kids winter clothing to Sishugriha, an orphanage and adoption center for infants and children below two years. The number two, on the 5th of March 2015, the association made a donation of rupees 10,000 to an ex-student to help her cope financially in providing treatment to her family member suffering from a fatal health issue. Number three, another of the several drives of the association which uh, touched her heart with tremendous compassion was the one on the occasion of International Women's Day on 8th of March 2015. We felicitated the indomitable spirit of one of our ex-pupils, Ms. Nandini Borua, who was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2005, an incurable disabling disease that affects the central nervous system. In spite of her debilitating disease, her effervescent smile radiated an aura which reflected her strength of faith in the grace of the Almighty. The number four, on the 4th of April 2016, members of the Holy Child Past People Association distributed bags of rice and egg crates to Ashalaya Ashram in an initiative to feed the underprivileged. It was a day of tremendous joy and bliss to be greeted by the radiance of young innocent children whose spirits glowed with gratitude and deep faith on the Almighty. Then we have at number 5, where the members of association also visited old age homes in their respective localities to spend quality time with the inmates and to distribute recycled books and magazines to them. 
Then in the month of September 2016, members of Holy Child Past People Association in another philanthropic endeavor donated a sofa set to an old age home in Kohati. It turned however that we were the real beneficiaries as we were paid back with a whole lot of priceless beaming smiles and warm hugs. Then on 30th of November 2016, members of Holy Child School Past People Association along with respected sister Annie, ex-headmistress of Holy Child School, visited Mother Teresa's home for destitute at Bharalomu for distributing blankets and volunteering with our time and compassionate ear for all the varied experience of the inmates. On the 19th of December 2016, members of Holy Child Past People Association shared the joy of Christmas with our evening school children from the marginalized section of the neighborhood. The children expressed their gratitude and showcased their talent with some splendid performances which reverberated with the gaiety of the Yuletide spirit. Then on number 9, we want to uh, mention that um, uh, that one of our past pupils heard that uh, mothers of students from a particular school at Tamilpur either had to borrow money or sell household items so that they could gather enough money to buy shoes and socks for their shivering school goers sitting for their exams. So we contacted the principal of NK Sarubhera LP School, Tamilpur. So the principal informed us about the deprived and necessitous background of all the students. We immediately decided to provide all of the students a big batch of navy blue school sweaters. Then at number 10, I want to mention about the gifting of a smartphone to a young student, Bipul Kalita, by our association, as he was deprived of online classes due to not owning one. Then at number 11, uh, we have um, the Holy Child School Past People Association um, organizing a relief camp at Batch Para Mangaldai for the flood affected victims of Assam. We distributed emergency kits with basic essentials such as eatables, mosquito repellents, medicines and other essentials after a need-based assessment at the relief camp. Then um, other community services and charity tribes by the association are um, one is providing flannel suits for an orphanage, then um, sponsoring two girls for completing their studies in Holy Child. Then we also contributed to a student of Holy Child whose house was unfortunately destroyed by fire. Then we contributed money to a helper of the school to buy roofing for a house. Then uh, last of all, we donated fans and wheelchair to Sishu Saroti. Then we have charity drives carried out by the 1991 batch. The 1991 batch do donated two trophies to the school to be used as annual prizes in categories as deemed suitable by the school. These were trophies they had given in the name of Tandra Bardalai and Pranita Das of their batch who had passed away. Then the 1991 batch provided psychological counseling for the children of Ashalaya Ashram. The 1991 batch sponsored a movie show and gifts for the Ashalaya Ashram. In another of their charity drives, they offered sanitary pads and scholarship help along with other gifts. The 1991 batch also provided emergency relief to flood affected families in the form of emergency supplies like food and medicine in Gualpara. Thus in a march towards creating a better society, the Holy Child Past People Association is always grateful to the outstanding support and inspiration of the school authorities for helping us relieve our values and to enrich our lives with the characteristics of a true Salishan education that is joy, service, compassion, love for our families, love for work, cleanliness and many more. With gratitude towards our educators and on their important guidelines, we look forward to keep engaging in community service that is free from the urge of ambition, the desire to command 
and with no other stimulus other than doing good. Thank you. When we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one, there are people dying. Oh, when it's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. We all are part of God's great big family. And the truth, you know.